Hey guys, what's up? We're back. DJ Joe with you today. We're at the Double Tree in Ontario, just next to the uh, Ontario International Airport. So we have another wedding today. This venue has a few ballrooms, um, actually quite a few. I've been here a couple times before, so let's go in There's and check the it out. Entrance. They have plenty of parking, so that's always easy. I don't even think you need valet. You just park on park on your own by yourself and stuff parking, which makes it convenient. Pretty popular hotel too. I know there's a lot of events here, especially Middle Eastern events, weddings. It's a nice lobby. So we're gonna be quite a ways down, down this hall. I think this is where most of the ballrooms are. They're all lined up next to each other, but it's quite a bit ways down. So hopefully people park close enough where they don't have to walk the whole way. One of the ballrooms is right here. They have a wedding in here, so maybe we'll take a sneak peek. Looks like a wedding, some kind of family function. Let's go see if I'm not. Looks like we have a band in here. But this is a big bomb. This is where I was last time. I'm not gonna go in there too much. None of my business. But pretty big wedding or event. Keep walking down the hallway. You'll see how far this is of a walk. This is only one portion of it. And as you continue. You'll see, there's a bit more all the way down there. Must be a few ballrooms, probably like two or three in between. And I'm guessing you can open them up to make it one huge ballroom. I thought this is gonna be open, but let's see. Nope, locked. The other room is also locked, but here's our ballroom today. So this is where we're gonna be. I'm already set up. No up lights today. Just the regular dance lights. I think 150 guests today, so not too big. Right at the ballroom, so we set, set up right there. Pretty easy, simple. Pretty easy setup. Think out all these partitions open up to make one like really huge room. So if you needed a big venue, this would, still, this would definitely work. You can see there's three main doors right there. So I think all three open up to be one big ballroom. Let's start the Zephyr right now. We are starting from the front of the hotel, which is a long walk like I showed you guys. And there's another wedding, so it's gonna be interesting with them probably listening to a bunch of drummers and chanting and all that stuff all the way through and flute and everything. So it is what it is. Um, this is what we're gonna do, we'll see how it goes. People from the other wedding came out to kind of jump in and you can see they're all interested in recording what's going on. We've got a long ways to go. This might be the longest stuff I've ever been a part of. I was gonna go set up in the room. It might be like 45 minutes before we're done with this. Shortly after the grand entrance, we had the bride and groom perform the first dance. We got two songs for the first dance and the second song.
Later in the video, I'll talk about when photographers take pictures in the middle of the dance floor. This is what it does. I'll talk about how it slows down the dancing and it really kind of disrupts things. So I'll refer to that in a little bit, you'll see. Once we get them out of the way, we get back to dancing and things flow well again. I also just finished up. I look like a mess. It's okay. It was a fun night. Uh, it was a Palestinian and Egyptian wedding. So I didn't get a big playlist from the couple, um, but just kind of felt it out. It started with the Egyptian stuff more and then eventually went like did a little more Lebanese, Palestinian, that type of stuff. Uh, it went well. Then towards the end of the night, I just went all English and they had like a good amount of American friends too. So that worked out really well and they had a good time. I got a lot of compliments at the end. So um, I think they were kind of surprised. It's always hard with dry weddings um, because obviously alcohol always helps, but it was pretty good. Um, one thing I really dislike is when the photographers are taking pictures right in the middle of the dance floor and that kind of kills the dance floor. So after a while, I let, the, let them do it for a bit, but then I had to go talk to them and told them, sorry, but dude, you gotta move. Go take pictures on the side or something. And the other thing they do is uh, they always want the lights up. So in the beginning of the party, dealt with it. Then I just told the staff, turn it down a bit so you get to more, create a vibe. So that worked well. And yeah, once we did that, got the dance floor really going. They danced most of the night, which I was pleasantly surprised. It went well. So I think that's it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked and make sure you subscribe. Till next time, have a good night.